Now that we've seen my modified toaster oven follow a solder reflow profile, let's try it out with a proper board. This is the Crap Badge, and it's made by David Watts, who is an electronics YouTuber who generously swapped a Crap Badge for one of my PWM85 solar charge controllers. I'll link to his channel in the description below. It uses a CMOS 7555 timer in A-stable mode to create a square wave on its output. He's used a light-dependent resistor in the standard circuit to vary the speed of the 555 output. The 555 output feeds into the 4017 decade counter which uses that pulse to switch its 10 outputs on in sequence. David cleverly uses a 4027 dual flip-flop IC to make this circuit control 20 LEDs in a chase pattern. Two LEDs are connected to each of the 10 outputs of the uh, 4017, then the flip-flop switches one of each pairs on in turn. Thanks to the uh, super simple instructions, all the components are now in place and I can reflow this board in my new oven. Sorry David if I overbake your badge. Okay, with the crap badge in the middle, I'm hoping to be able to sort of commentate on this process. So I'm going to turn the timer on on the oven. It won't fire up yet because I haven't pressed go on the Arduino. We're now in the preheat stage and we should, well, possibly not actually. You might be not be able to see the elements coming on, but they're starting to glow orange now. So we'll just watch this process. And at 140 something, the pulses of that relay mean we're in soak. And uh, a little slower now we'll be moving up to about 180 degrees, I think it is. The solder paste should be drying off the chemicals coming out of it. Uh, got up to 220 degrees and we're now in the cool stage so I need to move this uh, camera so that I can open up the oven. Now just inspecting the uh, crap badge here for poor solder well uh, there's a couple of LEDs that haven't quite straightened up haven't they? There's that one there just right next to my thumbnail uh, and there is a pin that seems to be bridged there on the 555 but otherwise i have to say i'm super pleased with the result that seems to have worked remarkably well so just a little bit of rework to do on the uh, 555 but i think i'll leave the leds as they are so tiny bit of rework uh, on those two pins that's that sorted I'm going to see what happens with those LEDs now. Uh, there is the uh, 4027 to solder on the back here, so uh, let me get that. So I'll just pop a bit of solder on that pad there. Uh, find my IC. I'm really using the wrong hands here let's spin that round that's not so bad yeah that will do so the 4027 is on LDR next which I think is meant to sort of poke out a bit so we'll try that I will work out how to hold on to it and solder it all at the same time and the battery 
holder is through hole. So there's the badge completed and I have uh, fixed those bridges. Um, but full disclosure, um, not that I could get away with not trying it, it's not working. Uh, and I think I've worked out why. Um, I have been probing about and checking a few things and it's actually on the back, the uh, 4027, which is on the back of this piece of paper here. Um, I've put it the wrong way around. What an idiot! So I've popped the uh, 4027 round the right way now. Fingers crossed no damage was done. And there goes the cell. And there go the LEDs with a clear difference of speed when it's uh, got light and when there is little light. Look at that. Excellent. So only a minor hiccup. So there we have it. I've been able to make a reflow oven out of a toaster oven which I bought cheaply from Amazon and I've been able to control it with just a few components literally hanging around here in the shed. I've also been able to reflow my first PCB. Thanks David for sending me the crap badge. I think once I get my solder paste dispensing right I won't have any of those bridge pins anymore and if I remember to read the instructions I won't be putting any chips the wrong way round again. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, if you have, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.